everybody. Welcome to another week of Pilates Plus Physio. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. It's amazing how many of you are managing to carry on week after week with these virtual classes, so thank you for that. Um, today you need your mat, your block and your band if you've got one. Um, and if you tie a knot in it to make quite a short little loop, that would be great. If you haven't got a band, uh, you can do the exercises without, so that's fine. Okay, so pop the band to one side just a moment. Feet pointing to the front. Maybe just take the toes off the ground once, put them back down and lift the heels off and put them back down. So really feel your feet connecting with the ground. Knees just relaxed. Lengthen up through the hips a little, open out the shoulders, gently tuck in the chin. Imagine that balloon coming from the back of your head, taking you up towards the ceiling. Just start rolling the shoulders backwards, so shrugging them up all the way round, back and down. Nice and smooth. Don't worry about the creaking and the crunching. Often it's just the shoulder blades sort of sliding over your ribs at the back. Okay, keep the shoulders relaxed, little fingers on the side seam of your trousers, thumbs pointing up, and just float the arms out to the sides, all the way up to your ears if you can, and then coming all the way down. So imagine a couple of big helium balloons tied to your middle finger, and they're just getting the arms to float up. And come down, so you're making two big arcs right out to the side even weight through the feet so just watch that you haven't shifted your weight over onto your favorite leg quite often if you've got back pain on one side you tend to put more weight through the leg on that side so just take your awareness to your feet a moment and your legs and see if you can feel more weight going through one than the other a couple of more gentle arm floats really reach up and down and one more. Okay, this time while you've got your arms right up to the ceiling, then think of your hands just like the rain, coming all the way down towards the floor. Let your knees bend, let your head dangle. Reach right down towards your toes, tummy in, tuck your bottom underneath, unfurl all the way back up. Stretch the hands right up again. Big stretch right up to the ceiling. And then hands gently coming down. Just watch you're not pressing your knees back, so rather bend them forwards. Tummy in as you start to unfurl back up. One more, stretching right up. If it's first thing in the morning and you're a little bit stiff, don't worry. Just go as far as you're happy. And come back up. Fantastic. Okay, a little bit of sort of balance work. So imagine you're standing in the middle of a clock. You've got 12 in front of you, six behind, three and nine either side. And you're just gonna step over onto your nine. And then you're gonna go onto your three. And then you're gonna go up onto your 10. You can make the clock as big as you can. I'm just worried about moving out of the screen. Back onto your four. How about onto your two? Across onto your 10. Back to your seven. Onto the three. Up to the 12. Straight back to the six. So it doesn't really matter where you go. Just think of a number, step onto it. Good one to practice on your own if you're trying to just challenge the balance a little bit. Maybe on to the 11, back to the six, straight back into the middle. Okay, still going on the balance front. You're back in the middle of that clock. You've got the numbers all around you. And this time you are gonna stand on your maybe left leg and with your right big toe, touch the 12, come back into the middle. Touch the one back to the center, touch the two. So see if you can make the clock numbers as far away from you as you can. Touch the four, onto the five. 
back onto the six. So bend the standing leg, then you've got a crossover. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ooh, eleven, don't worry if you wobble, twelve. Great, okay, swap feet. So this time you're touching the twelve back in. Eleven. 10. Think about bending the hip as well as your knee on that standing leg. 9, 8, 7, straight back to the 6, on to the 5, on to the 4, on to the 3, 2, 1, back to the 12. Fantastic. Great, okay, grab your tied up bit of band and step into it. See, test the balance again, see if you can step into it without holding on to anything. So, band above your knees, or below your knees, but above probably easier. Very slight little bend in your hips and the knees, but keep your body upright. So think of your belly button still pointing forwards. Push with your right foot, little step to the left. Push with your right foot, little step to the left. And then going back the other way. Push with the left, step to the right. Of course you can go a lot further than I'm going, but I think I would disappear off the screen. So press with the outside foot, step with the other foot. When you get to the end of your room, start coming back the other way. Should be feeling it side of the buttock, side of the thighs. So you're getting a little hip and knee bend. You're pushing with the outside leg and stepping. So when you see the footballers all doing when they're warming up. Little side steps. Keep going. Pressing with the outside foot. Little hip and knee bend as you go. So you're not like a complete sort of robot. It's a little bit of a dip as you step. Body staying upright. So you could put a hand on your chest and another one on your tummy. You're keeping those hands aligned over each other. Just going a couple more. Honestly, if you go quite far, you start to really feel it in the side of the buttock, side of the thigh. Maybe see if you can feel one side working more than the other. Great, come back into the middle and slip the band off a second. Again, see if you can take it off without holding on to anything. Okay, and then lie yourself down on the mat, just in the relaxation position. So you're going to lie on your back, knees bent, head on the little thin block or a towel or a little thin pillow if you're a bit stiff through your upper back and neck. Just let your body sort of sink down and relax into the mat a moment. Uh, maybe bring your knees and ankles together. Pop your hands on your upper tummy. So if you find where your ribs are and then your ribs go up into a little V shape, if you put your hand just below that V, below the ribs. Just a couple of nice gentle breaths right down into the tummy. See if you can just let things go, let your back muscles melt into the ground. And then arms out to the sides, so in like a sort of capital T shape, knees and ankles together, and just start off just gently rolling the knees going one way, your head the opposite way. Use the tummy, pull back up into the middle. Knees one way, the head the opposite way. You could turn your palm down on the hand you're looking at. So your head goes the opposite way to your knees. 
palm down on the hand you're looking at. Keep the knees and ankles stuck together. Back of your shoulders glued onto the floor. So you could keep going with that, or those who want to make it a little bit stronger, slightly flatten your back into the floor, float one leg up, float the other one up. So hips at a right angle, knees at a right angle. And keep going. Knees going one way, head the opposite way. Often you get less movement with this. So if you're quite stiff and you're really wanting to work on that twisting movement, you might want to keep your feet on the ground. So you've got your back just in imprint, so your back is slightly flattened into the mat. Knees and ankles staying together, so just watch as you go to the side that the knees aren't drifting apart. Lovely, okay. Come back into the middle, bring your knees right up to your chest, cross the ankles, hold the front of your knees, just gentle knee rocking, just release through your back a little. Okay, pop your feet back down, grab the band if you want to use it and pop it over your legs again. So round both knees, just above or just below. Trousers down a bit. So, band, put it fairly tight around your legs and just want to put a little bit of a stretch on it. So have your knees about hip width apart or a little bit wider. So you want just a little bit of tension through the band. Uh, we're going to do a spine curl, so feet flat on the ground, press into your feet, curl your bottom up. So just coming up, nice straight line, knees, hips, ribs, and then roll all the way back down again. One bone at a time as you come off the floor, one bone at a time as you go back down. So you can do this without the band as well. Think about getting those buttock muscles working to really straighten the hips. So often when you see people doing yoga, they're pushing their tummy and their chest up towards the ceiling. You don't want to do that. You want to be using your bottom muscle to get the hips straight, not overextending through your back. Maybe come up again. This time, Keep the pelvis level and you can just think about taking one knee a little bit further out to the side, bring it back in, other knee out to the side, back in, roll all the way down. And again, curl up, straight line, knees, hips, ribs, one knee out sideways. So you're just getting one knee to move, so one leg has to sort of stabilise and stay still while the other one goes out sideways. And roll down. And going again, maybe get the other knee to move first this time. So one knee out to the side, draw it back in, other knee out, back in, and roll all the way down. And one more, curl up. Knee out, back in, knee out, back in, roll right down. If you keep the band on a minute, bring your knees up. A little bit of circling your knees this time, so just sort of rolling right the way around on your back. And then going the other way. Okay, pop the feet down, keep your band on. And this time, bottom on the floor, and you're just taking one knee out to the side, bring it back in, and the other knee out to the side. So if you imagine a nice cup and saucer or a ping pong ball sitting in the middle of your lower tummy, that is staying, staying balanced there. So the whole pelvis doesn't rock to the side, so the back of your bottom is sort of anchored onto the floor. And you're just taking your knee out to the side and back in, and then the other one out and back in. Alternate legs. Is 
just getting those deep rotator muscles around the hip working. band off a moment, keep a hold of it, bring the legs down so they're almost flat but not quite, pop the band over your hands, so fingers straight, thumbs out of the band maybe, again just slight tension through the band, take it back over the top of your head, feel your tummy drop in as the arms go back, Keep that dropped in feeling through the tummy as you bring the arms back up. And again, both arms going back. So just again, just slight outward pressure through the band. You just bring a little bit of tension on it. So if you've got, you know, a black band or a silver band, which are quite often the strongest ones, or even this blue one is quite strong, you're not going to get a lot of movement in the band. You're just wanting to get a little bit of tension going through it. Uh, those who want to, as you bring the arms up, you can tuck the chin in, lift your head and look down over the knees. And roll back. Or you could bring the arms up, tuck the chin in, lift your head, or roll up. If you get to the top, float the arms above your head. Arms back down, tummy in, slowly roll back down again. Arms back over the top. Bring the arms up, tuck the chin in, pelvic floor muscles switching on. Keep your heels anchored onto the ground. Roll up, arms down, rolling all the way down. Arms back over. Tummy in. Can just lift your head, or you can just keep going, just with the arms, that's fine. And maybe just one more. If everybody comes right up into sitting this time. So sit nice and tall, legs out in front, and then you're just gonna really, really slowly roll back down into sitting. Keep the tummy pulled in, heels staying on the ground, slow as you can, right back down. Arms back over the top of your head. Bring the arms back down beside you, pop your band to one side, and then turn over, say your line on your tummy. So, over onto your tummy, hands together underneath your forehead, just flatten right down onto the mat. Sort of think about the front of your hips sort of pressing into the floor. Maybe clench your bottom. So if you give your bottom a prod, both sides should be really firm. Overcooked old beef. And keep both sides squeezing little swimming legs. So one up, one down. So feet barely coming off the floor. Shoulders nice and soft. Think of really lengthening out through the toes. So point your toes if you can, if that's not going to give you cramp. Up and down with the legs, bottom squeezing, like the swimming pool. Perfect, rest the legs down, just wriggle your bottom from side to side, a bit like a snake. Just gentle rocking the hips one way and then the other. And then uh, just prop up onto your elbows. So elbows under the shoulders, palms down flat, tummy lifting away from the mat, shoulders away from your ears. So just keep the chin tucked in, so like a sort of sphinx pose. And then just turn your head and look over your right shoulder. Come back to the center, turn your head and look over the left shoulder. 
and then this time turn and look over your right shoulder as you bend your left knee and come down turn and look over your left shoulder as you bend your right knee keep that feeling of really digging your elbows down into the mat so you don't want to sort of be collapsing letting your chest drop to the floor keep pushing pushing the floor away from you tummy gently drawing in away from the mat if you're not happy up in this position you could just pop down on your tummy and do alternate knee bending so you're looking over the opposite shoulder as you bend your foot a couple more lovely now bring your hands under your shoulders push up onto hands and knees Knees as wide as your mat, big toes together, bottom right back to your heels, stretch the arms out in front. Breathe into the back of the ribs. If your knees don't like it, maybe curl on your side, bring your knees to your chest. Fantastic. Come up onto all fours. So hands under the shoulders, knees underneath your hips, press the floor away from you. And stick with that or if you want to give your wrists a really good stretch turn your fingers in to face your knees quite a stretch through the wrists and forearms good one if you're on a computer a lot of the time so you want to turn your fingers outwards and then point to your knees I don't think it'll go if you turn them inwards and then bring your hands back to kind of where they normally are just do a little bit of a cat and a Stretch, so tuck your bottom underneath, arch up to the ceiling, draw your head down, and then let your back drop. Nose coming forward, looking forward. And then going the other way. So you're turning into a little humpback bridge. Head going down, bottom tucking underneath. Keep the feeling of really pressing the floor away from you, and then drop down. And again, arching up. Head going down, dropping your back. Lovely. Okay, this time knees together. Bottom right back to your heels again. Creep your fingers a little bit further out in front and then shuffle your hands to the right edge of the mat. Breathe into the left side of the ribs. And then shuffle your fingers to the left side of the mat. So right hand on top of the left. Breathe into the right side of your ribs. Fabulous. Come back into the middle. And curl back up. Come over into lying on your back. So, lying on your back, knees bent, feet down flat, a little bit of a hollow in your lower back. Time to just float one leg up and pop it down. So if you had a couple of Maltesers or something between your lower back and the floor, at the moment they're just staying tucked in between your back, you're not crushing them down into the carpet. So alternate knee fold, so your knee stays at about a sort of right angle, you're just bending at the hip, no movement through your lower back. Okay, so you could stick with that, or you could progress it a little bit, float one leg up, just slightly flatten your back into the mat, float the other leg up, first leg down, second leg down. So if you had the Maltesers between your back and the floor, you're slightly pressing them into the mat, but you're not crushing them. One up, other one up, First one down, second one down, and again, first leg up, second leg up, first leg down, second leg down, and again, one up, other one up, first one down, second one, and just going one more, one, then the other one, first one down, second one down, great. Bring both legs up, cross the ankles, hold the knees, a little bit of gentle rocking, rocking. And 
and then maybe put your right foot back onto the mat. Knee bent, left ankle goes onto your right knee. Let your left knee flop out a bit. Grab behind your thigh, right thigh, pull that up towards. If you can't reach, you could put your band behind your thigh and kind of pull it up with that. Otherwise, lock the fingers in behind. Still have a slight hollow if you can through your lower back. Should be a stretch in your left buttock. And if you just move that right leg a little way one way or a little way the other way, you can often really get that stretch on. You could then straighten out the right leg and come down. And again, straighten your right leg and down. And one more, straighten the right leg and down. Pop your right foot back on the mat and cross the legs. So right ankle onto your left knee. Let your right knee flop out. Hold behind your left thigh, pull up towards you. So back of the buttock stretch on your right leg. Just watch where your head is. So try and keep the chin just tucking in so you're looking at the ceiling in front of you rather than the ceiling behind you. And again, you can move the thigh very slightly until you feel that tightness in your right buttock. Straighten the left leg and let it bend. And again, straighten and bend. And again, straighten and bend. And one more, straighten and bend. Pop your left foot back on the mat. Either turn onto your side, come up sitting, or maybe hold behind the thigh. Tuck in the chin and smoothly roll up. Always frightened that one day that might not happen. <laughs> so sit nice and tall, ankles crossed. If you're happier up on your brick, sit up on your brick. So you want to get right up on your bottom bones, really lengthen through the spine. Hands on your knees and then put your right hand over onto your left knee, left hand behind you, just a gentle twist. And come back to the front, left hand onto your right knee, right hand behind you, twisting again. And come back to the front. Come slowly up into standing, bring your band with you. Good, good. Okay, pop the band over your hands again. Start with your hands down on your thighs. So slight outward pressure again. And just take, take your hands up towards the ceiling and come back down. So if you haven't got a band, you can do it without. And going again. Just float the arms up, a little bit of outward pressure. And come down. Okay, so you could stick with that or you could change it slightly so that you step forward as the arms come up and back as they go down. Alternate legs, step forward, arms up. Heel off the ground on that back leg and back. So stepping forward, arms up and back. Think about keeping your hips underneath you so your bottom doesn't go out to the side. Chin tucking in, a little bit of outward pressure, alternate steps. So you're balancing on that front foot, heel off the ground on the back leg. Are you as good on both sides? Is one side a lot steadier? And just going one more. Great, okay. Pop the band back down to one side. Bring the arms up in front. Big gap between your shoulders and your ears. Just open the arms right the way out. See if you're giving someone a great big hug. And come all the way back to the front again. 
And again, opening right out. And then gathering the arms back to the front. And one more, just opening right the way out. Make sure you're not clenching your bottom, squeezing the legs when you're just standing normally. Arms back to the front, bring them down, shrug the shoulders and release. And one more, shrug up and let go. Thanks so much for joining me. See you again next week. Bye.